Once you've created a series of worksheets, you may combine them into one physical screen called a dashboard. First, make sure your worksheets have meaningful names. Then, create a new dashboard from the Dashboard drop-down menu or the New Dashboard tab at the bottom of the screen. Notice that the Data pane has been replaced with the Dashboard window. Dimensions and measures are no longer relevant. All you care about now are existing worksheets. The first thing to consider when creating a new dashboard is the dashboard size. By default, Tableau chooses a fixed size that may not be right, depending on the screen size your audience is using. If the fixed size is too small, viewers will see gray bars on the side of the dashboard. If it's too large, they'll see scroll bars. So at least to start, you may want to choose an automatic dashboard size that will automatically fit to the viewer's screen. You can always come back and change the size if automatic doesn't look good. Next, notice the Tiled and Floating options in the middle of the dashboard window. Tiled is selected by default. Tiled worksheets will snap to a specific location and will never overlap any other object. Floating will let you size and move a worksheet over any other worksheet. Floating sounds nice, but can quickly start to look a little unruly. You may want to use Tiled mode and then afterwards just float certain charts, legends, or other elements as you need to. Add sheets by dragging them to the dashboard. Notice that all associated worksheet elements, like legends and filters, will be added to the dashboard too. Look carefully as you drag sheets. You'll see a thick gray box as you drag, indicating where the sheet will drop. But look very closely as you drag to the extreme edges of the dashboard. See the thin gray box? That's significant, as you'll soon see. When you drop objects, the dashboard may not size appropriately for your sheets. You can drag the line that separates objects to set a different size. And the drop-down arrow at the top of each sheet will display a context menu allowing, among other things, for you to automatically fill the entire dashboard space with the sheet contents. Now, let's add the customer detail so that it takes up the entire bottom of the dashboard. There are the thick gray boxes and the thin gray box. This is where we want the crosstab to display. And again, we need to set the crosstab to fit width. Notice other objects you can drag to the dashboard from the dashboard window. Layout containers will automatically size objects you place within them. Text can annotate your dashboards beyond the titles and legends on sheets. Image will place a picture, such as a logo, on the dashboard. A web page will embed a web browser within the dashboard. And blanks can help space other objects on the dashboard, usually only in tiled mode, though. Now, eliminate or move related elements to make the dashboard more readable. Maybe the size legend doesn't add value to the dashboard. Just click the small x in the upper right to remove it. And the color legend is redundant because the pie chart already shows colors for regions. Now, look at the map. If it took up the entire top width of the dashboard, the open water over the Atlantic might even be bigger, perfect to show the pie chart. Even though the pie chart was originally added in tiled mode, it can now be set to floating from the context menu. Resized and placed right over the map. You'll soon discover innovative ways of showing multiple worksheets all in one place with powerful Tableau dashboards.